Are you ready to multiply bigger numbers? Well, let's use the multiplication strategy known as the partitioning strategy. Before you use the partitioning strategy, you need to know how to do a few things. First, when we look at the number 24, you need to know how to break that up into its place value spots. When I look at 24, I know I can break up 24 into 20 and 4. If I look at the number 36, I know I can break up 36 into 30 and 6. The 3 in 36 represents 3 tens, and the 6 is 6 ones. Let's try that one more time. 56. If I break that up into its place value spots, I get 50 and 6. If you understand how to break numbers up like this, you're ready to move on and use the partitioning strategy to multiply bigger numbers. Let's look at the question 24 times 6. Just like before, we're going to look at the number 24 and break it up into its place value spots, 20 and 4. Now there's two ways that you can write out the partitioning strategy. The first is using a grid. I'm multiplying everything by 6. Now I write the two numbers I broke apart, 20 and 4. And I'm going to make a little divider down the middle so I can keep my numbers separate. First step, I multiply 6 times 20. If I know 6 times 2 is 12, I know that 6 times 20 is 120. Next, I multiply the 6 times the 4. 6 times 4 is 24. If I add both of these numbers together, I will get the answer of 24 times 6. 120 plus 24 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 1 plus nothing is 1. Therefore, 24 times 6 is 144. The other way you can use the partitioning strategy still means that you need to break apart the 24 into 20 and 4. Although instead of a grid, you're just going to write out the questions 20 times 6 and 4 times 6. 20 times 20 times 6 is 120. 4 times 6 is 24. If I add those two numbers up, 0 and 4 is 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 plus nothing is 1. The answer is 144. Let's try this again. 56 times 5. I'm still going to break apart my big number of 56 into its place value spots. 56 now becomes 50 and 6. We'll use the grid method to start. My multiplier is 5, and I will write my 50 and my 6, and I will put the dots down the center to help me keep my numbers separate. I know 5 times 5 is 25, so 5 times 50 is 250. 5 times 6 is 30. When I add those two numbers together, 250 plus 30 is 280. 56 times 5, 280. Trying that one more time, 56 
break my number apart into 50 and 6. And I will just write out the questions instead of putting them in a grid. 50 times 5 and 6 times 5. If I know 5 times 5 is 25, 50 times 5 is 250. And 6 times 5 is 30. Add those together. 56 times 5 equals 280. One of the benefits of this strategy is when the numbers get bigger, it becomes a little bit easier than the standard algorithm because you don't have to carry your answers to the next column. It's also a lot easier for students to understand what's happening when you're multiplying bigger numbers using this strategy. I often like to teach this strategy first and make sure students are very comfortable with the partitioning strategy before they move on to using the standard algorithm. That way students really understand what's happening when they multiply larger numbers together. As the numbers get bigger, like in our example 43 times 23, we can use the partitioning strategy to help us answer this question. To use the grid method, we need to break apart both numbers. So we're going to break apart 43 into 40 and 3 and 23 into 20 and 3. And let's use the grid method again. 20 and 3, 40 and 3. And to help us keep our numbers separate, we can divide up our grid. As you will see, we now have four quadrants that we will be finding answers for. First one we will do is 20 times 40. If I know that 2 times 4 is 8, then I know 20 times 40 is 800. Now we'll do 40 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 times 40 is 120. 20 times 3, I know 2 times 3 is 6. So 20 times 3 is 60. And 3 times 3 is 9. If I add up all of my numbers, I have 800 plus 120 plus 60 plus 9. Therefore, my answer to 43 times 23 is 989. Now it's your turn. Can you use the partitioning strategy to solve this question? 42 times 4. Pause the video now and give it a shot. Try this question yourself. When you're ready, resume the video and see if your answer matches the one we have here.
Did you get the answer right? Great. Let's move on to a harder question. Why don't you try this question on your own? 56 times 82. Pause the video now and give it a try. Wonderful, how did you do? Hopefully you're starting to understand the strategy. Now I challenge you, come up with a few two digit by one digit multiplication questions and test yourself. If you do well, see if you can try two digit by two digit multiplication questions using the partitioning strategy. Keep working on it and this can become one of your expert strategies that you can use too. Good luck! This video is brought to you by Madly Learning. Please visit www.madlylearning.com or check out my daily math units on Teachers Pay Teachers.